Welcome to Chris Park in Shooting Sports. This is the latest Schmidt & Bender 3 to 18 by 42 Metascope with adjustable parallax illumination and the latest turret system with individual markers so you can set up your exact known long range distances for hunting purposes. Magnification is 3 to 18 times and the objective diameter is 42 millimetres. Field of view is 4.5 to 2.4 metres at 100 metres. That's equal to 43.5 to 7.2 feet at 100 yards. This equates to 8.3 to 1.4 degrees. Overall length is 328 millimetres, which is 12.9 inches. The main tube diameter is 30 millimetres. The scope is available for normal ring mounts or a rail mounting system, and the overall weight is from 680 to 700 grams, depending exactly on the specification and rail mount you choose. This is 23.99 to 24.69 ounces. Well, you've seen the rifle scope in use, and I have to say it is a superb rifle scope, but let me go through a few more of the details about it now. This is designed to be a long range hunting scope, but it's got a compact 42 millimeter objective lens within the 50 millimeter body at the front to make sure you're saving weight and saving size and bulk on a hunting rifle. The back end also has quite a large ocular lens at 48 millimeters, and that does make it a little bit tricky if you want to add any additional um, camera accessories to it, but at the end of the day, it's designed to be a hunting scope for a hunting rifle. The Tenebrex lens caps are supplied with it. These are superb, they're very tough, very durable, and you can rotate these into position, but I'm just gonna pop the back one off so I can show you a little bit more. At the back end, we've got a fast focus ocular lens, which gives you a massive capability to set it up to the diopter of your eye. The eye box itself is very, very forgiving, and when you're shooting the rifle, it's very easy to maintain sight picture, regardless of magnification setting, actually, and you can keep your fall of shot within view and see the animal's reaction as well. That is very, very useful on a hunting scope. The magnification control is smooth, there's no perception of any internal movement and there's also a small tactile button on top here at nine times which allows you to feel for when that, that reticle inside, which is the LP7 reticle, matches the corresponding deer size. Now of course that is somewhat of a stadiometric usage and of course it's not quite as accurate as using a laser rangefinder but it does give you a good idea quickly in the field of just how far you are away but of course it all depends on exactly which deer species you're hunting to so that's something you need to practice with and make sure it's working. It is in the second and focal plane and it's illuminated as well so you do keep a really nice crisp sharp aiming picture. The illumination system for the reticle has now been incorporated with the parallax, so it's no longer at the back end on the left side of the actual scope tube. This makes it more compact and it's much more in line with what you see from other rifle scope manufacturers. And there are 11 intensity positions. Exit pupil diameter is 8.3 to 2.3 millimeters, depending on the magnification setting you're using. And the eye relief is 90 millimeters, which is partly why you get such a good versatile eye box without it claiming to be magnum eye relief which often compromises the eye box versatility on some scopes. Of course the big attraction of this rifle scope is the turret system. Now this is the BDC-2B turret and essentially what this allows you to do is once you've zeroed the rifle and set it up you've got two locking levers which will lock the windage and elevation if you want it to but on the elevations turret particularly, there is of course a zero stop 
and you are supplied with Allen keys, and the toolbook is quite comprehensive on this, but you're supplied Allen keys because there are these small markers on here, and you can loosen off each one of these and position it exactly where you require for your rifle. And there are six of them, so you can mark one to six, you could set them up for one, two, three, four, five, six hundred meters or six hundred yards as is your desire. Just one thing, don't lose the Allen key, it's very small and they're quite tricky to get hold of. Maximum mechanical travel is 305 centimetres at 100 metres for both elevation and windage. This is just over 30 milliradians. Once the initial zero is completed, the elevation turret offers 100 centimetres of adjustment at 100 metres to give you all the long range precision you need within a single rotation. In use, the turret has been very accurate to use. It corresponds perfectly with my previously acquired dope information, so I've been able to make those long range shots in a hunting environment. Although it's designed as a hunting scope, and yes, you could use it for long range shooting, it's not really what it's designed for because it does make some compromises in terms of size and weight to keep it you know, compact for hunting purposes. Again, you're probably gonna have a bit of left or right to deal with. Touch more elevation. Yeah. Spotting. Excellent. The optical system is rated with 92% light transmission and you do get a very bright picture, but that isn't compromising on the fact you also get really nice colour balance and you get great contrast. As I said before, accessing the eye box is very quick and immediate and with of course fast focus eyepiece at the back and left side parallax control you can make sure that your image is pin sharp for precision shooting. I found it extremely easy to use and I also like the fact that it's a very very well presented scope. The tube finish and the anodizing and the engraving on it is absolutely premium quality and it leaves nothing to be desired whatsoever. No other manufacturer can offer you any more than this even if they can get approximately equal to this. There is no perception of any mechanical movement within the tube, everything is perfectly smooth. There's also no tunnelling at low magnification. We'll be getting into 10 to 12 inches a drop. Oh. When you are using the turrets, you get very well defined mechanical clicks. These are both audible and tactile, but not too noisy and represent a great balance of what you need from a hunter that still wants to have the capability of making precision shots at longer distances. The locking levers on both windage and elevation ensure you can't make any mistakes. I suppose the last question would be on a 30 mm tube on a rifle that's probably designed around a 50 mm objective lens these days with a fairly sizable ocular body, are you actually gaining much by having only a 42 mm objective lens, which although saving size and weight, does compromise a slight amount of light entering the tube. So the choice is yours. Do you want to go for this ultra compact scope, which is very lightweight, only 380 grams. Overall length is only 328 millimeters, so it does fit well on most hunting rifles without becoming too bulky or too bulbous. And of course the turrets themselves, although mechanically excellent and very versatile in use, aren't too tall so they're not really going to catch on things or actually restrict you from mounting a gun or carrying it in a sling or even putting it in its rifle case it'll fit in a regular rifle case without additional size needed for a huge great long range scope. Light transmission is rated at 92% and the reticle is in the second focal plane. Diopter adjustment on the fast focus rear eyepiece is minus 3 to plus 2 diopter and the parallax controls from 20 meters to infinity. The knurling on all the controls is easy to grip, whether in bare fingers or with gloves on. And because you can quickly control 3 to 18 times magnification, you can also quickly control the relative field of view you can see to quickly acquire your shooting targets or quarry species. I will put a full link in the description so you can check out all the facts and figures of the scope and the specifications at your leisure. A CR2032 battery for the illumination system is supplied along with a cleaning cloth 
an actual scope manual, the warranty information and some nice Schmidt and Bender stickers if you want to use those. The manual covers in detail setting up the turrets for original zero position to make sure you can get the most precise shots at any distance you're then using. The LP7 reticle has a simple, single red dot illumination in the very centre, which is ideal for hunting purposes. That's a lot of garlic sheep. If you do it right, you'll be shooting that out over 400 metres beyond. see multiple shots from between about 200 and 400 meters into the, the kill zone one out there and then another guy was using the spot back here on the rump so very good shots there at multiple distances in actual field conditions you're using sticks not shooting pro or anything like that well i'm down at wms farms training in wales today um, i do work here but i'm also just visiting because i want to come do some shooting and i've been using the uh, mauser m12 6555 <sighs> let's be honest I'm, i've just been out fun having fun shooting today i've been shooting some uh, long distance out to about 400 meters shooting from uh, quad sticks viperflex sticks and pinging some steel you know just practicing for normal field conditions hunting and well i hope you've enjoyed watching that review Please like, subscribe, comment, and don't forget to click the notification bell to keep track of the regular uploads. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.